Tuning the crate engine's Holley 850 carb was needed to achieve our acceleration goal. GM no doubt tuned the 850 vacuum secondary carb that was supplied with the 502-502 crate motor. However, in a light street rod, there was hesitation under maximum acceleration. With all the design and construction effort to achieve 0 to 60 times under 3.5 seconds, this was not acceptable. I spent several months determined to make the vacuum secondary carb work. Purchased a Holley quick change vacuum diaphragm spring cover and seven different straight springs. This altered the secondary opening time. Made a chart of spring strength and closed and opened. Being in the welding gas flow business, even purchased a special diaphragm that had a needle valve to control opening speed. Unfortunately, there was still a hesitation or bog when accelerator was pressed to the floor. After reading several books and articles and consulting with Holly Tech reps, decided to try a change in jets, accelerator pump squirter size, and power valves. Only a few simple tools are needed to help with power valve and jet changes. Four 5 16 inch, two inch long bolts with nuts make a low cost carb stand. A pin vise and small drill bits can be used to increase squirter size but do not drill out the main jets. The inlet shape is critical in defining flow. Holly sells parts kits, which are very useful. The price of the jet kit will pay for itself very quickly versus buying separate sets of jets. It also allows changes in small increments. The vacuum secondary carb may be fine in a medium to heavy street machine. However, with a 3,000 pound Pro Street rod having 53% of the weight in the rear wheels, and excellent traction achieved with a 4 bar length suspension and 16 inch section Mickey Thompsons, it's obvious the rear fuel bowl will expose the power valve to air under 1G acceleration. 1G forward acceleration with 1G gravity is like tilting the car at a 45 degree angle. The fact that over a G, the jet itself may be exposed to air, not fuel. There are hardly parts available to solve the problem. First, replace the power valve with a plug and increase jet size to compensate. With the torque and power of a 502-502, the secondary is only open in a bonsai run, and who cares about fuel mileage at that point. Jet extensions move the rear jets to the back of the bowl so they will never be uncovered, even with over 1G acceleration. A special float is needed to clear the extensions. This is a picture of a power valve and a plug. The plug just screws into the same threaded opening. Might as well install what is called a vent whistle and longer vent tubes to prevent fuel from spilling into the carb under hard acceleration and heavy braking. They are inexpensive. Changes made helped, but a hesitation still existed if the secondary opening was delayed or a bog if they came in too soon. Not the feel needed to meet our 0 to 60 goal of 3.5 seconds. It may not have been a long time, but it felt much longer than desired. Decided to measure the air fuel ratio. Purchased a weld on bung for an oxygen sensor for under $10. Make sure it arc welded it to the header collector. A simple narrow band oxygen sensor and a meter were purchased for about $30 each. Part numbers are on our website. This graph shows why a simple oxygen sensor works. It's called a lambda sensor and is very sensitive to oxygen. Note, at a perfect 14.7 to 1 air fuel ratio, the output will be about 0.48 volts. However, if it is slightly lean at 15.1 to 1, the voltage reduces to under 0.2 volts. Watching the meter when accelerating, the change in reading was instantaneous. It was going lean. The solution was obvious. Even having added a 50cc pump and trying very large squirter size, this was not enough fuel when flooring the pedal. A double pumper was needed. 
purchased the new carb and found the rear jet still needed tuning. Some references suggest when using a power valve plug, increase the jet area by the power valve fuel passage size, which for this Holley model was 0.067 inch diameter. However, the air fuel meter showed excessively rich under full throttle. However, the fuel head above the power valve is about half the height of that of the jet. Calculating jet size compensating for this fuel head difference provided the correct jet size increase. This was validated by the air fuel meter. Detailed jet size calculations and squirter sizes used are on our website. A 50cc pump replaced the 30cc one that came with on the primary of the double pumper and provided the extra fuel needed. A more subtle change is the accelerator pump cam. Found the yellow cam best for the front pump and a brown cam best for the secondaries. It gives a quick shot of fuel but does not empty the pump reservoir. Our acceleration goal was met with no bog or hesitation. Zero to 60 times were under three and a half seconds. An interesting problem occurred after hard acceleration runs. The car would almost stall as if it were flooded when braking. This never happened with the vacuum secondary car. Looked at possible differences. There were no inlet filters on the double pumper car, and the vacuum secondary had porous bronze filters. Could it be that the inrush of fuel after hard acceleration was causing a problem? Install the bronze filters in both double pumper inlets, and the problem went away. We used our 150 amp MIG welder for many items on the street rod. The argon based shielding gas comes from a large cylinder chained to the wall. To reduce the blast of gas at the weld start, we use our gas saver system, the first use of this patented system. It makes the gas cylinder last over twice as long and improves our weld start quality. It simply replaces the gas delivery hose. The patented gas saver system is a simple, inexpensive gas delivery hose with a small ID and a peak flow limiting orifice. It reduces wasted stored gas by over 80%. It retains a system pressure to supply enough start gas to purge the weld start area and to compensate for flow restrictions that occur while we're welding. It has no moving parts to set or wear. Thousands are in use in industry. For much more information about tuning a Holley carb, visit netwelding.com slash holly underline carb dot htm. Thank you.